Okay, welcome back to module two. So now let's move to uh, actual case. So we're going to do this geometry. This is a classical now mixing elbow. So here you have in your slides, you have the dimensions, but also you have uh, the steps here, okay? So you can follow later the, the steps here. And I have to say, I don't <laughs> remember how many times I have done this tutorial, but I always do it and I follow a different path as I have seen, as I have been saying that there is not a single way to do it, but probably the steps that you have here is just the, the is the way to get it the fastest. But doesn't mean that the, if you get it the fastest, doesn't mean it's the right way. Okay. So let's create this geometry. Uh, in your tutorials training material, you're going to find this folder 101 CAD and then CAD drawings, and this is the one that we're going to do mixing elbow. So here you have the geometry with all the dimensions. So you should open this one, Elbow OS. Here you have all the dimensions. In this case, you have it in millimeters. And it's also important that when you do a geometry, I already have it here, this one here, let me re refresh. So in this case, we're doing the internal part, no? So see that you have this shape and let's think about the steps to do that. When it's straightforward, in the previous video, we saw the most important here features, but basically what we can do here is a sweep, create a profile, sweep along this path, and then create another profile here. You need to create a construction plane and sweep here. And that's all, okay? So you see here your steps. Okay, so it's relatively easy. But what is important that we're doing the internal geometry, but sometimes, you will receive the external part. So actually this one is something like that. You have, let's say the pipe, the jacket. Okay, so you have the pipe, but you are interested in the internal part. So you can, you need to extract that, which is called enclosed now. So be careful about that. But it might happen also that you need the pipe. For instance, you are doing conjugate heat transfer. So you have the pipe, but it, maybe it's not necessary to have this flange or the nuts and bolts there, okay? So it's up to you, this is the, the featuring, okay? So in this case, we're going to do the internal pipe, okay? So let's move and create this new document here. I will call it mixing elbow test one, okay? Elbow test one, it's up to you to give a name. Um, you enter there into your environment and here we have the dimensions, okay? So let's create it using this dimension. So let's see, well, let's first imagine this step. So the first step is just to create this path, okay? And then we can attach a profile there. So we have this path here, you have lens, 300 millimeters, 3,000 millimeters, 3,000 millimeters, and this one, the radius is just 1,500, okay? So you do it, first do this path, and then attach a profile there, okay? You can attach a profile here or here, it's up to you, okay? And then after we have this section, we can create this pipe here. So see that you have the reference also that it is a, at an angle of 45 intersecting here, this path here, okay? So let's do this, okay? Uh, bam, 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 I move here. You can choose your construction plane. So I will choose this one. I like to sketch in X, Y. So let me put it there, sketch, okay, and let me start draw down. So see that I'm not going to, to give dimensions, okay? So I just put in lines, okay? It's something like this, and now let me add dimensions here, okay? So now I would say that this one is three, and when you put, this is super neat, because when you put three there, everything will be scaled automatically, okay? And then this one is also three. And let's say that this one will be uh, 1.5. 1.5. So now that you have that, let me add a circle here. And let me do some train, uh, train here. Okay, I trim it there. It's saying that it's over constraint. Probably you need to erase one constraint there. That's all. Okay. And okay. 
Uh, what else we can erase? Let me erase also this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Okay. And let me add this from here to here. Oh, okay, so we'll be ah, uh, this one here. Radius 1.5, and that's all. Okay, so just if you see what we have done is this here. Okay, so you create that. Okay, it doesn't matter if this is blue. Okay, it's not a big deal. And this is the path. And now we can attach a profile. So we know that here you have it in this plane and you can attach it, but I want to do it in a difficult way and I want to attach it in this other extreme. So the diameter of that, let's say is 100, a thousand millimeters, one. Okay, so let's go and create a support plane. This one, it is line, eh, ba, 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 sorry, 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 ah. It is curve plane, so here and here. Okay, so see that this plane attach a plane to this line in this point, normal, okay. A sketch, normal to screen. And now I can go here, attach it in that point and let's give dimensions and this will be 0 0.5 okay or one no should be one diameter let me let me check here so the diameter yeah the diameter is one and that's it so see that you attach it there and now what we need to do is sweep this face along this path and you select all of them and voila you have it there so as you see we're almost there we're, now we need to add the pipe there so here is up to you now I have seen some people that measure this distance whatever so here you have already reference now you have this angle here we intersected at 45 degrees. Okay, so let me show you how, how, how I do it here. So let me hide this solid and I just need to see the sketches. Okay, now this sketch. Okay, so normal to screen. Okay, uh, uh, uh. so let me sketch again here. Okay, normal to screen. And now let me show this one. Let me change transparency. Okay, now edit, exit, let me, ba, 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 ba. okay, make transparent because I am in the sketch. And what I need to do, okay, okay, make transparent, it's just create this line at 45, but intersecting this one where I'm going to attach this other line. Okay, so it's relatively easy. So see that we need to have this support line. So look at that, I'm going to do is project, uh, sorry, project this here. Okay. Okay, let me go back here. Project. Okay, transparency will hide. So now I can hide here. So see that you projected this there. And I don't need this one anymore. And let me make this one a construction. Ah. Okay, construction here. Construction. And what I need to do is from here to here. Okay, uh, I need to add also another construction line from here to here to measure the angle. So let's say that this one is also construction line. And to measure an angle, you go from here to here. Now you give 45. Okay, sorry that it's moving the other. So what I need to do, here 
erase this constraint so it's important and now let me add an anchor constraint so let me fix here fix this one okay that one is fixed so see that this one is now free to move Forty five. Okay, and that's it. So if you go here, look at what I did, just this. And here, see that we have this distance. Okay, it should be here one hundred by the way. Okay. This one is not not ten, it's one hundred. Or let me check. This is the previous one. Okay, so let me go here. Sketch to Sketch one, okay, dun, dun, dun. okay. Well, let me do it here. Bam, 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 bam. Sketch two, okay. Uh, yeah, it's one. Okay, that one is one. Should be one thousand or should be. Okay, so let me go back here and now let me do this so see that i'm working in the same i, I have another sketch but i could i could have used uh, a new sketch uh, the same sketch as the previous one was no problem and now i start to sketch this line and i want it vertical so see that you have this vertical bar there it's telling you that it's vertical put it there or let me go back so in, for instance you can force it vertical or you can put it like this Okay, and now you can add this vertical constraint. Now it's vertical. And give dimensions. One. And there you go. So now you can attach here a circle. Go along this line and merge both this. Okay, so see that we're getting there. So now what I need to do is create a construction plane there. So see that again here I will choose curve point okay so boom and boom you have it there construction plane sketch there normal to screen up it shows the wrong one so sorry it's this one okay sketch there um, normal to screen I can hide this one and let me Plane one, okay, where is plane one? Okay, look, I can hide that one also. And I can sketch there. Okay, so see that you have this point, remember that that profile needs to be attached there. So you can access that point, but in case that you uh, you can access the point, you can always project it. So you go like this and you project it and then you have it available. So you go there, you add your circle and that circle diameter 0 0.5 okay so select so here 0 0.5 whoop 0 0.5 you have it there i'm happy let me show again and what i can do now okay is you can do sweep you have the pass there but it's better to use an extrusion okay this is one select the profile you can move it like this okay and it will do the boolean automatically or you can instead of doing that one you can do up to face select the face go here and it will do the extrusion up to that face and there you go Okay, this is our solid. Okay, so now when we go to the meshing stage, we're going to mesh this solid and then we are going to have flow going in here, going in here and going out, out here. So something interesting that usually people ask because we need to access in the solid also the, the different surfaces to assign boundary conditions. That is not done here in Unshape, that is done and open phone okay so there is some specific utilities that we can split this one so here here we can assign a boundary condition and here 
a different bundle condition and so on okay so that is part of on chain applications okay uh, open phone application so that's all for this case so if you want also here you can start to do some measure measure measurement and, and that's all so see that in a few basic steps we managed to reproduce this this geometry here so just a correction here it shouldn't be 10 it should be actually you have the uh, 1000 okay so probably not so, so yeah this is the right drawing here so one this is in meters okay so that's all okay as you see very simple something that you might think complicated it's, it's done very simple in a, in a few steps okay so so we try it in this case this and this utility with some other applications there we use projections by the way here you have all the steps so you can roll over you can see your parametrical history here and again if you modify something everything is updated automatically okay so let's see in this case i have one two three four five six seven eight steps okay so the fact that you're, you're you do it in eight or in six or in 20 stacks doesn't mean that one is, is, is the good one they are all the same but it's up to you okay this is design intent in this case we're getting our <coughs> our results in eight steps but for instance maybe you might be interested in changing this angle so you will need to add some more steps or probably okay the sketches that i use it they are not right i need to do something else just to change to uh, this angle okay so actually i think i can do it here so keep it in this so see that i can put this and this you get the angle and now if you put here 180 okay you have this constraint vertical you erase it ah, okay so see that it's working so this is a part design intent it's very important okay? design intent okay you are getting this result so with this parametrization it's quite easy to change that angle maybe you are using another parametrization it might it might not be this easy okay so you change it there and you go there so if you want probably you can run now a parametrical study save your different geometries okay so probably th this one is going to give you an error likely so yeah you see that it is intersecting there and here it's going out so that is uh, as suspected and um, 110 so probably this this should work fine okay it's still when you are extruding here it's going out here so it's not intersecting that phase so to to change that behavior probably it's better to use blind and see what is happening okay so that's why it's giving an error when you choose up to phase so let me put here 120 okay okay 120 is working and well you can put final here and you can see 160 is working and probably 115 is not working 118 okay it's 120 the minimum angle that you can use 135 and that's all okay so easy case easy geometry i hope you follow all the steps probably as you look at these lines they are slightly different and the final step will be right click there export okay give it a name i don't know or you can use the same name mix i would call it mix in elbow one save it as a stl see that you have many pair of formats here uh text units meters it doesn't by the way the units doesn't matter okay then you can do scaling and open form as well but here we work working in meters and seven meters so it's okay resolution fine okay so you have a good stl and auctions here you you can see different auction but it's usually done low press okay and at one point then load and there you go so if you open here your tabs and then loads you just double click here and just open it in windows but then you need to move it to your, just to your linux installation or you can download it directly in linux there is no problem 
let me use uh, 3D Viewer. Okay, and there you go. This is your STL. A nice STL. Okay, so that's all for this video. Okay, so now you can go back to your home. So in the next one, we are going to do the AMET body, also a classical case in CFD. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time. Bye.